Oda is writing out Kid and Law. So in chapter 1076, Shanks pulled up and is about to delete Kid's whole pirate career and put him out of his misery. Similarly, the Blackbeard pirates have pulled up on Law and things are not looking good for him. I see a pattern here. Both of Luffy's main rivals and the worst generation seem to be in the process of being written out. What I think is going on is that Oda is setting things back on track to put the focus on the current Yonko on Luffy, Shanks, Buggy, and Blackbeard. In Logbook 27, Oda admitted that the Supernova were a last minute addition to make Sabaori more interesting. This man literally created 11 Supernova right before their introduction chapter came out. A testament to Oda's talent. Reason number two, One Piece was initially only about the four emperors. Everything else like the warlords and the supernovas were later added to make the story more interesting, but they're not essential to the root of the main story itself. The main story being Luffy taking down the Yonko and becoming Pirate King. Now I have a few arguments when it comes to this. Now that they've been reunited in Wano's with their rivalries put aside, Oda can comfortably write out Kid and Law. Now why would he do that? Well to reset things back to the story's foundation. By getting rid of Kid and Law, Oda can bring the focus back on Luffy taking down the Yonko and becoming Pirate King. The Seven Warlords were also an addition just like the Supernova. In fact, Oda stated so in Logbook 23. They're in addition to the story, that story being Luffy taking down the Yonko and becoming Pirate King. That is the root story. Now consider this, where are the warlords now? That's right, dissolution. They no longer exist in the story anymore. In other words, now that the warlords have played their part, they can essentially be written out to put the focus back on the main story. What I'm proposing is simple. Just like Oda wrote out the seven warlords of the sea, he is currently in the process of writing out the worst generation, specifically Kid and Law, as their rivalries have more or less come full circle by the end of Wano. Now I'm not saying that this is the case with the whole worst generation. In fact, this is only the case with Kid and Law. I believe that Bonnie is currently living her best life on Egghead, getting full on development. And I also believe that the same will happen to Yuruge as he he will have his time in the limelight. Regardless, the common question of the day is, do you think that the worst generation are being written out? If not, then why did Oda put them against Shanks and Blackbeard? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, like, share and subscribe and have a good one.